All right, here go part one. Revelations chapter 16. Verse one, we're going to start and go to four. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. Now, I just want y'all to know that the angels he's referring to are the ones that were um, locked up in the Euphrates River. And the Euphrates River has been dried up and people sleeping on that right now. I don't know if any of y'all know about the Euphrates River, but that's where um, I believe it was four angels that were to be locked up until it was time for God to unleash them to wreak havoc, havoc on the earth. And as we speak, those angels have already been unleashed. So I just wanted to make y'all aware of that. Okay. It says, and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. So the mark of the beast is Satan worshippers, people that have decided to work with Satan or um, walk with Satan and, and do his works. Them are our people that are marked with the beast. That are that have the mark of the beast, okay, which is 666. Okay, so if you notice that that angel went out, that first angel assignment was to go and and go against and 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 bring down the people with the mark. Again, those are the people that serve Satan. Verse 3 says, And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea. And it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in that sea. Japan just recently had blood in the ocean. They tried to say it was a factory. People need to quit discrediting God's word. God's word said what it was. And that's that. Verse 4 says, And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. Stay tuned. For part two. Shalom.